no desire for me So as if you raise your glass, you pass the test Night is still young, there ain't no stress Well, I drink to this and I drink to that Don't know why I drink and I don't mind Just grab yourself a glass, let's have a drink You raise your glass Let's have a little soul So raise your glass And let's have a little more Raise your glass Let's fill it to the top Let's see the bottoms of you Raise your glass Hi, welcome to another episode of Beer Show and Beat <clears throat> Tonight I have a guest Hello Well, he's gonna be a bit more often a guest on the show I'm gonna be like a part-timer uh, so this is Alain Robichaud. Hello, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me aboard. Thank you. Uh, the reason why Alain has tried a bit for a while to have him on, when I see a bout de la while dessus, c'est Alain Robichaud. Robichaud. Um, yeah, on, quand on a commencé à filmer, mon petit Jackson, on avait fait The Chase, puis lui yeah. était dedans. Yeah. Was it? Oh God, that's a long time ago. So, so à la fin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but ça, ça donne même parce que ma femme connaît ta mère. Connaît. Mm. Non, ma soeur connaît. Ta soeur. Ma soeur, ouais. Ta, ta soeur. So, c'est pour ça que je dis, ah, oh, bah, allez, on va venir à ce soir. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's always good to, to catch up with a good old friend. Too, c'est, so. c'est, ben, yeah. ben, c'est comme j'ai demandé, dit, tu connais. Comme, holy shit. Okay. Uh, tonight, since it's going to be his first time on the show, I decided, you know what? I picked this one out. Give him some good tasting to do. This is from Burnside Brewing, Dermot, Dermot Nova Scotia. Oh. Uh, we, we tried to, to do more New Brunswick, but sometimes I like to do... Nova Scotia, PEI, and Quebec. Uh, t- this one is the Honey Brown Lager, the Queen Bee. It sends at it 4.8. Just in a cut point a bit. Uh, Queen Bee is a remarkably unique brown lager brewed with Nova Scotian honey. Uh, decept- deceptively light bodied and smooth for a dark beer. So it's like, oh. and have some coffee taste to it. Oh, it is good. a pinnacle of drinkability. Expect notes of chocolate and sweetened coffee. <laughs> uh, finishing <laughs> with a rich flavor of honeycomb. Okay, and I keep hearing it in the background. Yeah. 4.8. Nice. Yeah. Very lovely. So now usually what we do, we take a screenshot. Because after I put that on Instagram oh, yeah. stuff. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> so uh screenshot in three, two, one. There you go. There you go, that works. So what's your smell? First initial smell. Oh, it smells nice. Uh, I can smell a little bit of the honey. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Quite out. Yeah, you, you can smell, smell the coffee flavoring in there. Like, it, it has, like, that... Tu sentis les petites notes de chocolat? No, pas tant que ça. I don't know. It's too much, but that, there's a little, there's got to be a hint of it too. But then again, I kind of have a cold too, so smelling is uh, a little bit, it's going to be a little bit off today. But. Mm. That's good, la. It's good, la café. Oh, that's Et, nice. Yeah, la fin, it's good, la miel. Oh, yeah, now I taste a bit of like the dark, the dark chocolate. Yeah. The, the bitter. Because the, the, at the end, it's a bit sweet. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. Because of the malt. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is actually quite lovely. I wonder mm. which place they got this in Nova Scotia for the uh, uh, Nova Scotian honey. Uh, I know up here in Camel, uh, well, Bathurst, we got one in Charlotte. And the, the 
well, not meteries, but the place for honey. I know the, the one in Charlotte, and I know the one for uh, in Fredericton, because they got the meadery uh, pollen angels. Oh, okay. Uh, but Burnside, actually Burnside, that's the first time I've tasted Burnside. No, I've never tasted that, that beer either. I actually didn't know it, it, it existed until now, and uh, honestly, it's kind of a shame I didn't know this uh, beer before. This mm -hmm. is actually very good. It's a brown lager. It's... Damn, it, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It so I have some notes of a brown ale. Um, mm. But it's like was that good? Yeah, it's not too bitter. No, it's it's really not that bitter, and it, it's that that honey finish. I find it really goes down smooth and yeah. really good. I found Damn. it. I found that you have a barley then and it's got barley in it. Mm -hmm. Contains barley. Mm, good, good barley. There is one beer I like. It's a eleven point nine. Mm -hmm. It's a barley wine and distillery fils de what Does it? Oh yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to drive up there and grab some gin from them. I mm -hmm. absolutely love their gin. Oh. Um, Shout yeah. out to to fils de bois, gin to ya. They have mm -hmm. a uh, <laughs> good. The gin, uh, the Tuya soda, they have one with uh, made with flowers. The, the, the Pepe de Oh, yeah? De hmm. I know I just saw it today. Oh, geez, that's going to be have to. We're going to have to taste that. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to have to do that for sure. <laughs> I tried the the blackberry and they will try it. I see it uh, in Oman. Beautiful blackberry. Oh yeah, blackberry. Oh, blackberry. Oh, blackberry's gonna be really good. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I can imagine that. Mm. So, from a rating, from one to ten, what would you give the Burnside Brewing Honeybee Brown Lager? Well, since I'm not too much into coffee ales and stuff like that, I mean, I gotta give this one a solid eight. This is definitely a really good one. Okay. It keeps me drinking, and I quite enjoy quite a bit. That that that's yeah. Well, it's like you said, it's your first. You like you don't like the coffee taste. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like for um, if it's too bitter, I have a hard time. Like, yeah, like a hard Guinness and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll drink. I'll drink one, and after that, I'm I'm pretty tapped out for Guinness. Mm. Like it, it it hits my like, quota of bitterness. Parce que nous avons avec nous que Simon lui aime pas les stouts. Yeah, pas un fan de stout. I even give you an example. My wife does not like stout either, but she has a stout. It's from uh, Sussex Ale Works mm -hmm. in Sussex. Uh, it's made with uh, Piccadilly coffee. Oh, really? And she likes that one. Hmm. She's not a stout person, but she likes that stout. Well, that's that's good. I mean, I'm definitely game for trying all kinds of beer. And yeah. you know, every time, every time the, the liquor store has their little little tastings, I always you always got to try it, right? Well, that's why we got beer show indie. <laughs> and we got all sorts of beer. Exactly. But I really like the finish of this. The, the honey finish just, I, I feel it takes that bitter away quite, like, yep. just enough, you know? It just, no, oh, it see, it, it, it's sweet. Yeah. It's not, like you said, it's not bitter, but it's at the end because of the, because of the malt, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Plus, with the taste of the honey. Oh, yeah. But right now, I just got the. Uh, Honey taste in my mouth, but I got some honey too upstairs from uh, Scow, from Dangerie Bénévo. But that's in the basket. I'll, I'll <laughs> fill him in after. Uh, but yeah. So how are you rating this one? I'm going to go actually with the ABV four point L. Go eight point four. Eight point four. All right. Yeah. So yeah, first time trying Burnside. I'm. Now and then, now that I think of it, Burnside Brewing, first time on the show, and I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have other good beers. And uh, if we're ever in Halifax, Dartmouth, or Sussex, not Sussex, uh, Tallinn, Truro, or I know I want to plan something to go to go see Oak Island. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I almost have to. Yeah, well, it would be like uh, <laughs> drinking at Oak Island. We will actually drink some uh, some beer from uh, Mahone Bay. It's uh, I think of Hell Bay Brewing. 
Really? So yeah. Nice. Like, but it's funny, a little anecdote, my dad uh, lived not too far away from Oak Island when oh, he was nice. a young kid, so yeah. There you go. Yeah, some stories there. She's an Islander. <laughs> my dad's from Nova Scotia, right down there, so. There you go. But yeah. maybe someday, uh, future, maybe someday next year, next, the year after, year after that, year after. I don't know, I'm very, very show and be, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm putting up to the limit of, of uh, when I get five years from now. Ah, don't waste my age. <laughs> uh, five years from now, I think that would be like probably the end of it. And mm -hmm. probably I'll say that's it for filming. And that's it. Oh, that's yeah. all. And enjoy the rest of side by side, four wheeling and life. Oh, yeah. Because since 2016, we'll be filming that be our show, then Beer Show and me. And uh, well, soon you might actually have to upgrade to go Beer Show International. Mm. That's going to depend on if we get sponsors or if we get uh, <laughs> like Rogers TV or a C -A C F C H TV in St. Stephen's or St. Andrews or something like that. Or we get pulled put on TV. Hey, if we can pull on TV, that'd be excellent. Because right now, as of now, because we're not well, road trips are sponsors. We got to watch our languages. Uh, but this is a regular show, so we'll just fuck. Ah, we can swear. Hey! Hey! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh. So, 8.4 at 8, a Burnside Brewing, mm. uh, the Honey Brown Lager Queen Bee. I mm. liked it. Uh, if you have, if you like stuff with honey or coffee taste, go get some. Definitely. I concur to this. It's good to the last drop. There you go. Mm. And see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye. Cheers.